In the game of football, you have positions. Tight ends and wide receivers. Wide receivers are more explosive type athletes. Fast, extremely gifted, and can catch balls that normal people can. Tight ends are the exact opposite. They're gifted, big, strong, physical. Right now, today's game, some of them are not even, some of them are physically gifted where they could be wide receivers, but they're for more short yardage gains than um, stretching the field. And in this offense, we don't even use our uh, wide receivers. We don't. There's a reason Odell Beckham's gone. It's because of Kevin Stefanski, not Baker Mayfield. There's a reason Stephon Diggs is gone. It's because of um, Kevin Stefanski, not the quarterback of Minnesota at the time. And in this league, if you don't target wide receivers, you're not going to beat many teams. Well, that's a fact. I think if you look at Cleveland Browns, uh, our offense, uh, I think we target the less wide, most, like two to one ratio, we, we are behind in targeting wide receivers. Also, yesterday's game plan of running the ball three times in the first half after you got down in your first, I mean, after the first drive was egregious. That is a coach that says to you, I don't like this quarterback. I'm going to put him in an adverse situation so he can fail. And here's the problem with that. If that's your plan, whatever. But if your backup is Case Daniel Keenum, and that's who you really want to start, then you are a fucking imbecile. Kevin Stefanski needs fired immediately. He People that want to blame Mayfield for this loss, they don't know football. Mayfield made one mistake. Well, I'm saying he made one mistake that was big, that interception. But other than that, in, the, in that situation... With the play calls we were that we were running out there, no quarterback's going to look good. Everyone was covered. He forced them into a fucking pass situation when we didn't need to be. It was 14-7. There was, even if it was 21-7, to there's no reason to keep um, passing the ball. It didn't make any sense. And I can only attribute that to uh, he wants Mayfield to look bad. So he can go to ownership and say, I need to get my own quarterback in here, Case Keenan or whatever, draft one. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not signing up for watching Kevin Stefanski's vanilla high school offense when everybody else is playing chess. I'm not signing up for that. And Jimmy Haslam needs to understand. Um, we could have had, uh, what's his name, Josh McDaniels. You know what, Josh? Remember he came here, I think, a couple times. You know why we didn't get Josh McDaniels? Because he didn't want to go into analytics. They forced analytics on Hugh Jackson, basically. And Kevin Stefanski loves analytics. Josh McDaniels, he don't like analytics. He's not into analytics. He might do it somewhat, but he didn't want to base his whole goddamn game plan on analytics. That's what the Browns do. It's all analytic-based. That's why Stefanski goes one on fourth down. That's why our defense doesn't put any pressure on a quarterback. This is all analytic-driven by Depot Testa, and he's ruined this team. Stefanski has ruined this team with his fucking high school offense. And Baker Mayfield, if I was him and his agent, I would demand to get the fuck out of Cleveland. Get out of Cleveland. Become a free agent. Someone will sign you. If not, be a backup, and guess what? You'll get your chance again, and then guess what? Your career will take off. Because under this offense, it's not going to take off. And, I, and I'll and i be honest with you. I'm all about winning. I could care less where a quarterback is, but if it's Case Keenan, I got no confidence in him. And if we're running this offense, I don't want nothing to do with this team. No no receiver's going to come here. No superstar players. You could tell, hey, there's already malcontents here. Defensively, Miles Garrett's wondering, like, well, we didn't make any adjustments. Joe Batonio's wondering why we gave up on a run so fast. It's already malcontents throughout that locker room. People, when you, hey, listen, when you're at a job and you know your boss is a fucking imbecile, a, jack, a jackass, a dumbass, <laughs> and believe me, you know, them players know that the guy leading their team right now is not capable. They know that. That's why they called him out. They want to fucking score points. They don't want to sit there and whatever that happened yesterday, that, that's not a that's not an offensive play caller right there. That's a guy that doesn't know how to do anything. They took away his only plays that he knows how to do, and he didn't know what to do. The defense, it was embarrassing. But Kevin Stefanski is the main root of the problem. I'll guarantee you if it wasn't Kevin Stefanski, I think Joe Woods would play an aggressive defense. Now, why would you blitz Joe Burrow and not blitz? This is what I don't understand. Why would you blitz Joe Burrow and not blitz uh, Mac Jones? Oh, he was getting rid of the ball so fast. Well, guess what? Yeah, you still got to blitz him. You know why? You make him knock him off his mark, make him uncomfortable. He sat back there so comfortable. You have to worry about now when you hit a young quarterback, especially a rookie, you're going to fluster him. And I know these Patriot fans, oh, he's not going to get flustered. Trust me, you're going to fluster him. And Patriot fans, would you take Joe Burrow right now over Mac Jones? If you say you, um, you wouldn't, then you don't know football. Joe Burrow is 10 times the quarterback Mac Jones is. And we gave him a pass yesterday defensively. We didn't even try to put pressure on him. We tried putting pressure on him with our front four, but we didn't blitz. Last week, we blitzed uh, Burrow and fucking discombobulated him. 
made him all over the place and made him look terrible. We didn't do that to Mac Jones, and I don't, I don't know why. I have no clue why. It just don't make any sense. You've got to disrupt the quarterback's timing. Any quarterback will pick you apart. So this was a fail offensively and defensively game plan. It's, it's also fancy. It's all. Not once have you seen. You know when the Patriots' defense is getting worked, you see Belichick down there talking to him like this. He's down there. Like, hey, when the Patriots are playing bad defense, this is what you see Belichick doing. He's like this. That's what he's doing. You ever see Stefanski? You know what he does? Here's Stefanski. So all he cares about is that fucking play sheet. I don't know why this guy's calling plays. He has no... He's, it's, it's horrible. Maybe the problem is nobody else wants to call plays in this vanilla offense because it is the worst offense I've ever seen. It's high schoolers. Last week it looked good because we played the Bungles. We played the Cincinnati Bengals last week. It looked good. But when you play better teams, they figured it out. Stefanski, he's the worst coach we ever had. Jimmy Haslam, you need to fire Kevin Stefanski. You need, you need to, you know what you need to do? You need to go to Alex Van Pelt and say, listen, I'm going to make you the head coach of this team. I'm firing your boy, Kevin Stefanski, and do what you got to do to get Aaron Rodgers here next year. That's what I would do. It would have been nice to have Odell Beckham with Aaron Rodgers next year, but Kevin Stefanski made that not a, not a viable option. I think the only reason Odell called out Mayfield, it was easier of two, because if he would have called out his coach, then what other head coach would have picked him up? If he makes a video about uh, Kevin or says something about Kevin Stefanski's offense terrible, what other coach is going to want to sign him? So he says, let me let me bail on the quarterback who everybody already thinks is garbage. I think that's what he did. And he was smart to do it. Uh, I truly believe Mayfield will go to another team and be a great, uh, a great player. I do, and I hope he does. I don't care. On Cleveland, it's never going to happen. Not with Kevin Stefanski. We need a new coach. That's the bottom line. Hold on, I got these fucking fruit flies. Look at that. Like I just, I just knock, I just kill him on the wall. I don't give a fuck. Oh my god, I just had one here. But yeah, we need a new coach. Kevin Stefanski's not the answer. And uh, oh wait, there he's. He's not the answer, and uh, it's. We should be seven and three right now. He blew the Steelers game and the uh, Chargers game. We would be seven and three right now. If he, the Steelers game, if you remember, you put the offense in a twenty yard box. It's a customary twenty yard box, and uh, we didn't do that until we got down in the last eight minutes of the game. And we started moving the ball. Jarvis Landry a little back and started dropping balls. But uh, that's Kevin Stefanski. So, if I was Baker Mayfield, I know they got him signed through next year, but I wouldn't want to be here. The Browns are uh, Kevin Stefanski is single hand. Hey, you remember Mayfield's rookie year? Explosive. He was a different quarterback. Kevin Stefanski basically neutered Baker Mayfield. And, you know, Baker Mayfield being a good teammate, he wants to win, and he thought this was the way to go, but it's not. Uh, hold on. Almost broke the window. He thought it was the route to – he thought it was Baker Mayfield, the ultimate teammate. He, he tried uh, doing it, but it's not working. And people are going to say, oh, you're just a Baker Mayfield fan. No, I'm not even a Baker Mayfield fan. But personally, I don't even like Baker Mayfield. I don't like his uh, high school mentality. I think the players in the locker room look at him like he's a fucking childish clown. I don't like him. I don't. Uh, and I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have a guy like Josh Allen. That's who I wanted. Because Josh Allen's a beast. But uh, if Josh Allen was in this offense right now, he'd be doing the same thing Mayfield. He, he wouldn't be happy, though. Uh, so we got to get rid of Stefanski. That's the bottom line. And you know what? Draft a quarterback. I got no pro I got no problem with getting another quarterback. I'm not one of these guys. If we can get a quarterback better than Mayfield, I'm all for it. But here's the thing. I don't want another quarterback to run this offense. I want to get a quarter. I want another offense. I don't want this fucking high school offense. It's, you can't win at this level. It's, it's evident. It's evident. You can't win at this level with it. It only goes so far. I mean, look at uh, the Vikings in the NFC Championship game. They got fucking boat raced by fucking uh, the San Francisco 49ers. Stefanski's the problem here at Cleveland. We got to get rid of this guy. He's, he's killing us. I mean, that Demetrius Jackson, I don't know what the fuck his name is. He was running like Nick Chubb. Better. And uh, he just stopped. It's almost like he didn't want Nick Chubb to be like, he didn't want to be like, oh, God, if they show how good this guy is, they're going to be like, Nick Chubb's not that good. Maybe we can trade him. It just doesn't make any sense. I do believe Stefanski wants Mayfield out of there. And yesterday was his way of setting him up for failure. I, I truly believe because that's the only reason I can think of this guy dropping back and throwing the ball when clearly the running game was working. We were down 14-7. The interception Mayfield made was the worst decision decision ever to even throw it was terrible on both it was a terrible play he should have had three interceptions yesterday by the way he played terrible Mayfield played terrible but he wasn't the reason we lost coaching was the reason we lost we weren't even prepared to play that game the defense you should have been blitzing that young quarterback and here's I, I'm gonna make a video about uh Mac Jones here in a, in a minute Mac Jones basically hey 
He's basically Baker Mayfield. That's all he is. That game was exact same microcosm of the fucking game he had against Cincinnati. That's all he is. He's Baker Mayfield. People think, oh, he's, he's Baker Mayfield with a lesser arm. So, I, these Patriot fans have me rolling. They think Mac Jones is the next Tom Brady. You're going to find out when you play a real team with a real defensive coordinator that knows how to put pressure on the quarterback, you're going to find out about Mac Jones. Trust me. He came into the game, what, 10 touchdowns, 7 interceptions? That's not a good quarterback. I'm sorry. So, I'll make a video on that separately. But this game was lost by Kevin Stefanski, and um, he needs to be fired. They have no. You're not going to attract anybody to come to Cleveland with Kevin Stefanski running that shape. It's not going to happen. And I blame Paul DePotesta, the analytic goddamn geek, because analytics don't belong in football. There's a reason why we're the only team that. I mean, we run our whole team based on analytics. Defensively, well, no, no, we're not going to pressure the quarterback. If we make them 15 play drives, they're bound to make a mistake. That's what it is. I'm telling you. Nobody wants to play for Stanley. The, the locker room's mad. You can tell the players. Like I said, if you if you have a job, and your fucking supervisor is a jackass. And we all know who that is. The players know it. Trust me. The people know it. This guy's not equipped to be a fucking head coach. He's not. He's not even a. He's not even a play caller. But yet he's got that little. He, he thinks he's so important with that fucking sheet. It's embarrassing. He's got a vanilla seven play. He's like a Freddie Kitchen nine play playbook. God, I would kill to have Freddie Kitchens right now. At least Mayfield was a gunslinger then. God, hey Beckham had a thousand yards then. Fuck, he comes to Cleveland with uh, Stefanski. It's nothing. So anyway, we got to get rid of um, we got to get rid of uh, Stefanski. He needs to go. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make a video on Mac Daniel Jones and the Patriots. I'll show you why. If they do make the playoffs, they're gonna get fucking routed. But they're not a playoff team. Their defense ain't bad, but their quarterback sucks.